What spice glows under black light? Today, we are going to learn about one very special fluorescent spice with my glowing jellyfish experiment. Hi everyone, I'm Emily Calandrelli, MIT engineer and host of Emily's Wonder Lab. And on my channel, we learn about all things science and space. So grab those black lights because this kitchen is about to glow. For this one, you need isopropyl alcohol at 70% concentration. Parents and adults, because we're using alcohol, make sure you just have some supervision. A black light, a small glass, and turmeric. Yes, turmeric. So first what you wanna do is pour your alcohol in your glass. You don't need that much. I'm probably gonna pour it in maybe about 50%, just halfway, just like that. And now what you wanna do is go to a dark place or turn your lights down. Once you're in a dark place or your lights are turned down low, turn on your black lights and point them towards your cup of alcohol. Now, we are going to sprinkle in our turmeric and just a warning here, turmeric is very pigmented. It will stain your counters and your fingers and your children. And so if you want, you can use gloves. I'm just gonna sprinkle mine in here. Now our black lights are shining ultraviolet lights at our alcohol. Let's see what that does to our turmeric. Three, two, one. <sighs> Look at that. Our turmeric is soluble in alcohol, so it's spreading out in the alcohol and it's glowing. It's glowing because the ultraviolet light from our black light is shining at that turmeric and fluorescing the chemical inside turmeric called curcumin. So turmeric is very interesting because it has this chemical called curcumin, which is fluorescent. And that is what makes turmeric glow under black light. Things that are fluorescent will absorb ultraviolet light, that highly energetic light, and then re-emit some of that light as visible light that we see with our eyes. Let's watch that here. So as the turmeric falls, it disperses and it looks a little bit like jellyfish. That's why I call this my glowing jellyfish experiment. Now, once you're done with this experiment, don't dump this down your drain because the alcohol can damage the pipes and then it also has alcoholic vapors that are flammable. So what you wanna do instead is just leave it out over a couple of nights and let the alcohol evaporate and then dump out the rest of the contents in the trash. Thanks for making glowing jellyfish with me. If you like this experiment, check out my best-selling Stay Curious and Keep Exploring series for 99 more science experiments, including many more glow-in-the-dark experiments. I'm Emily Calandrella. Subscribe for more things science and space. And remember, stay curious and keep exploring. I'll see you next time. Emily's science lab.